Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be taking a little bit of a look at a new Cradley card. This one's kind of fun, ladies and gentlemen. This one's kind of fun. Our translation here comes from lovely Joe over at Cerebi.net. And if we start off having a little bit of a look at the basics, it's got 150 HP. Now, it is a stage 2, and we do expect around 150, 160 for stage 2s. An example I use quite a lot is that in the Sun and Moon base set, we had Dragonite, which had 160 HP. Here we are, like, two years later, and we're rocking 150. So it's not ideal. Speaking of not ideal, retreat cost of 3 means you're not quite high enough to use buff padding or poker maniac, which makes me a little bit sad. And a weakness to fire with Welded X running around like Blacephalon and Reshiram and Charizard makes me extremely sad. We're off to a bad start, ladies and gentlemen. We're off to a pretty bad start. But can we do better? Well, I mean, being a grass Pokemon means you get lots of healing with stuff like Life Forest Prism Star and Shame Him. But that's all irrelevant because of your horrendous weakness. And grass Pokemon means we can use Netball to search out basic grass energy or basic grass Pokemon. But you don't actually evolve from a grass Pokemon here. You're a stage two. But you start off with Unidentified Fossil. It's all looking pretty bad to begin with. Except we now have Pokemon Research Lab. And Pokemon Research Lab makes a huge, huge difference to the viability of Fossil Pokemon in our current format. It ends your turn, sure, but it allows you to search for two Pokemon that evolve from Unidentified Fossil and put them straight onto your bench. So you grab yourself a couple of Lily, but you whack them on your bench, and now we can make it work. And I actually think Fossil Pokemon are easier to use than they have been for, for quite some while at this stage. So, look, I got all excited about Armaldo the other day. I thought the new Armaldo looked really good, link in the description. Can this one possibly hold up? And the answer is... Maybe. So if we start off then, we've got an ability here, which according to the lovely Joe says, While this Pokemon is in play, your opponent's Pokemon, affected by any special conditions, cannot retreat. Now, I did go and check with the lovely Antoine Boulet here, who, as we know, very lovely person, who has confirmed two very important things for us. Number one, yes, this definitely works on the bench. Number two, Yes, this does take priority over a skateboard. This has been confirmed on the official FAQ over in Japan. And that, ladies and gentlemen, turns it from... Yeah. To... Ooh. Because you see, at the moment, a skateboard is absolutely huge. And part of the reason is Jirachi. Jirachi is a frankly phenomenal card. When it's in the active, you may look at the top five cards of your deck, find a trainer card... Put it in your hand, and then Jirachi goes to sleep. Okay, fair enough. But then you use a skateboard, which lets you retreat while asleep. So then the question becomes, well, hang on a second. Jirachi can retreat even if it's affected by a special condition. But Cradley here says, well, hang on a second. You shouldn't be able to retreat if you're affected by a special condition. A Jirachi with a skateboard, and this has been confirmed by the official FAQ, cannot retreat while Cradley is in play. And this really is a selling point of this card. We'll look at the attack in a minute. There is an attack. The attack is... Uh, it, it's fine. It's, it's not stunning. But the ability here is great. But it needs to work from the bench. Because like so many good abilities over the years, in the active, meh. On the bench, yes. We need look no further, ladies and gentlemen, than Slowking. That, that Slowking that broke the game. I did a video about it. I'll link it in the description. In Japan, it only worked in the active. Let you flip a coin when your opponent played a trainer card. This was back when everything was trainer cards. There was no items and all of that. Everything was a trainer. So whenever they played any of it. And if Tails, they put it back on top of their deck. And it didn't do anything. In Japan, had to be active 
no great attack, fine. Translated outside of Japan as working on the bench, you played three or four of them. Your opponent had a 1 in 8 or 1 in 16 chance of playing every trainer card. They all went back on top of their deck. It was a mess, ladies and gentlemen. Cradley is no slow king, but it's not a million miles away. Because here, we have got an ability which is pretty huge. Now, you need to be able to get Cradley out, so I think this is still probably reserved for decks that are playing Pokemon Research Lab. Because otherwise you're mucking about with Unidentified Fossil and evolving up into a Stage 2 and it gets awkward. But if you're playing Pokemon Research Lab, go and grab yourselves a Lilip, and then at some point during the game, you evolve up into Cradley, you stop your opponent retreating if they're affected by a special condition. Which really leads to two questions as far as I'm concerned. What are their other options if they can't retreat? And how are we getting special conditions on there? Now in terms of their other options, there are a bunch, but not as many as there were. As I keep telling you, Ace Roller and Guzma have gone away and they used to be the two best options. So you're down to people playing stuff like Switch. And some people will. And we have seen, at least from deck lists that I've been looking at, and I pay more attention than, than the vast majority of people, there has been a huge uptick in the amount of people playing Tate and Liza. Shove your hand into your deck, draw five cards, or a Switch. And you know what? Having a Switch is huge. Being able to have a Switch on tap is great. And that's why people have been playing a bit more Tate and Liza. There is, unless you're already playing four copies of Cynthia, there is just no reason for anyone to play Tate and Liza as a draw card. Cynthia is inarguably better. Just flat out, no arguments. It is a better card. Straight away. And I, don't, I really don't think there's much of an argument against that. So people play it as a Switch. But you know what? Tate and Liza's a supporter and you can't always find it. Switch you can't always find. And these are limited in the deck anyway. So we're, we're doing alright. It's not like when people are playing 4 Guzma and 2 Ace Roller in every deck. I still think the amount of switching should be significantly lower. So we're feeling pretty good about this, ladies and gentlemen. We're feeling pretty good about it. But how are we going to get the special condition on there? And there's a whole bunch of options. There's the stage 2 Vile Plume that lets you choose a special condition. Other than Paralysis. But it's a stage 2, you got to flip heads. I think we can do better. There is Mareep. If it's in the active, you can put your opponent's active Pokemon to sleep. And then, ironically, you can escape board out of it. Now, I really like this because we've got Slumbering Forest. So your opponent has to flip two heads in order to actually wake up. And I don't know if they're always going to be able to do that. So I like the idea here of just whacking a Mareep in the active, putting him to sleep, having a Slumbering Forest out, and then just having Cradley on the bench doing its thing. Now, if you're going to be doing all of this, you're going to need some attackers. But that's fine. Because you're playing a fossil deck. Aerodactyl's kind of nice. I like that one. You can always... And this would be a super, super fun way to do it. You could have a play around with that Kabutops from Team Up. The one that stops your opponent playing supporter cards. So now they can't even play Tate and Liza to get out the active. So now you essentially put them to sleep. Use Kabutops to support to lock them. They've only got a 1 in 4 chance of waking up. That's kind of fun. I like that. Incidentally, in terms of special conditions, don't forget you can always use Koga's Trap here. Which will both confuse and poison them. Which could be an option if you cannot get Mareep into the active. The fact of the matter is, this is going to go in a fossil deck. So you can combine it with, like, any fossil Pokemon. And it's a tech. It's not the center of the deck. But special conditions are not that difficult to get on. There's a bunch of options. I've only given you a few here. And once you've got a special condition on, they can't retreat. And you can go about doing your thing. As for the attack, let's not get too excited. One grass, two colorless energy, 110 damage plus poison. Yes, you can use triple acceleration energy, but the fact of the matter is, the bad weakness means you shouldn't really want it in the active anyway. 110 plus poison for free energy isn't great. Accelerating energy to grass Pokemon is difficult. I could keep going, but I hope you see the point here. I'm not saying it's some terrible garbage attack, but I am saying I'm not terribly impressed and I don't like it very much. But I don't need to. Because we've got an ability here which will absolutely work wonders. I like it, ladies and gentlemen. I like it.
But it's only ever going to be a tech in a fossil deck, so it gets free wassies. It is a fun tech, but with it being a stage two fossil Pokemon, you've got to play it in a fossil deck. Fossil Research Lab is great, and in a deck playing that, you should be fine. But it's not going to work outside of that. But I'd like to know if you think it's going to work and how you're going to try and make it work, so let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays, where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.